Hello everyone, we decided that there's gonna be a part 1.5. And, uh, yeah. Behind the scenes. Yeah, here, here we are, um, Ocean Man, Connor. Cell Otomer. phone destroyer, yeah, cell phone professional destroyer. weeb. Otomer, and uh, Akira. Uh, no, Akari, not Kati. Akira. Yeah, Kati. For some reason I said Akira that time, I don't know why. Yeah, no, we're all here, um, in my Discord server. Well, my Osu server. I have multiple Discord servers, uh, Morio and Stardust Abridged. But, uh, um, yeah. Every- I gave everyone a Moonspeak name. Everyone. Yeah, no, uh, let's... Let's- let's do this. Alright. Yeah. I'll do... Yeah, you do Caesar. You... Uh, I'll do... Oh, I don't know how no, to do yeah, Caesar. Yeah, no, I'll do Caesar, actually. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, you, you do Joseph. You be Joe, bro, I'll be Jojo. Yeah, Lisa, Lisa, Joe. <laughs> oh, okay, there's actually a description. Part 2, Battle Tendency Thick. Caesar slash Joseph. Hints of Lisa, Lisa, as Susie, he oh god. Lisa, Lisa leaves Joseph and Caesar in a pit of oil, trying to climb up. Lubed up, phallic pillar. <laughs> what do you think would happen? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you ready to do this? I gotta get my perfect voice. Alright, you, no you boy, good? No. Jojo! Yeah, that's good. Stop whining, Jojo! <laughs> yeah, that's the voice I'm gonna do. Do the British voice! <laughs> what the hell? Shit. What the hell? What? Fuck! One tarnation! One tarnation! Why do we have to calm this thing? Stop whining, Jojo! Caesar said, testing the slipperiness of the pillar of a finger. If Master thinks we're up to the challenge, then we have to prove ourselves to the standard. Yeah, well, I don't think much of your Master. Joseph folded his arms in front of Caesar. She may be hot, but she's pretty damn rude to just shove your guests into a pit and force them to climb up. She could have at least fed us first. In Out of character. In reality, Caesar was less confident than he tried to appear to Joseph. He heard the horror stories of hell trying to climb the pillar. Which intimidates the arts of Hamon had to climb, Ocean is she? unaided by anything but the power of Ripple itself. It was made more difficult by the fact that the gallons of oil were constantly silking down the pillar itself, oh. recirculating back up. Caesar stared for a glance Stare. over the thigh high lake of oil he and Joseph stood in and saw nothing would help <laughs> climb the pillar. And returned his attention to the pillar itself. Yes, he thought he realized how to climb the pillar. Perhaps, <laughs> though, it wouldn't be easy. <clears throat> okay, then, Joseph said, measuring the distance to the pillar. She wants me to climb that stupid pillar. That's what she'll get. Lowered, cat like, into her crouch, that sprung towards the pillar, propelled by what he liked to think of as his mind legs, which even Caesar had to admit were quite shockingly muscular. Joseph smacked into a pillar about eight feet up with a muffled grunt. He clung, his arms wrapped around it in a bear hug, and both men felt a brief surge of victory. Perhaps this wouldn't be so hard after all, if it was all this easy. A burbling sound caught Caesar's attention, and he looked up to see a volume of oil washing down the pillar, light sheets of viscous fluid covering the pillar was being washed away by a mini wave of thick oil. He opened his mouth, warning Jojo, but it was too late. As the increased quantity of oil reached Joseph, his grip, none too sure in the first place, completely failed. And with a loud yell and much flailing of arms, he fell straight down, narrowly avoiding smacking his head on a pillar. Shiza uh, tried to reach him in time to catch him. Well, he didn't try too hard, Joseph was supposedly a Joe Star Wonder Boy after all, and if he couldn't take a short ball like that, he had no chance against those ancient Aztec vampires. So Joseph's fall was cushioned by nothing but two and a half feet of oil. Fortunately, that was enough. Run on sentence. Smooth, Caesar remarked, not trying to keep the sardonic image out of his voice. Did you really think it'd be that easy? Master's here to train your endurance, not... Quirky an eyebrow at the oil-covered lump in the pool. 
to act like a brain dead monkey. The lump scrambled to his knees, coughing, and looked up with an expression in his eyes most Shut up! Joseph spat and shook his head, spraying tiny beads of oil everywhere. He stood the oil cascade down over his muscles in a way that was, well, not unattractive. Caesar decided to ignore that feeling, however, in favor of the laughter bowling up from deep within his chest. It wasn't hard, really. Jojo's hair was still covered in oil, and he looked rat like a rather beefy drowned rat. And he had, still had that stupid breathing mask Lisa Lisa had locked onto his face during his first encounter with her mask. Joseph fished out a handkerchief from his pants pocket and tapped him up at his face. I didn't realize that the cloth, the cloth was soaked in oil, too. Oh, man, Granny Arena made it uh, for me. She's going to be pissed. Clearly decided to take the high road and ignore Caesar's ever more historical laugh where Joseph looked at the pillar. Oh, that's me as shit. Crap, I don't think there's any way I can climb that in these clothes until they dry. It would be too slippery. Caesar cleared his throat, surprise, uh, sur <laughs> suppressing either a chuckle or a laugh-induced hiccup. Well, Jojo, time is essence. If you're going to have to find another way up, perhaps if you hadn't been so gung-ho, your clothes might still be unlubricated. Caesar was unable to suppress a snicker at that, and Joseph rose his eyes. Bite me, he said. Then, with a big, then with a graceful motion, entirely unexpected from such a well, big galoot was the term Speedwagon had used. Clearly, having picking up an Americanism or two in his aim over there, Joseph stripped himself of his oil-soaked shirt. Caesar barely had time to gawk at Jojo's press of chest before the oil-soaked shirt smacked him in the face. Wait, was that you? Ah, uh, no, that's you. Oh. Hey, cut that out! His process had no effect. And, and, uh, uh, and an undershirt, a pair of socks, and most alarmingly, a thick pair of pants smacked him in the face in succession. When he had finally pawned him out of his face, he held, held Joseph. Standing proudly up to his sides in a while, apparently wearing nothing but his gloves and a smile on his face. Caesar couldn't quite see clearly through the oil that rained in his uh, own eyes, but he could still tell that Joseph had gone commando. The oh god damn it, that morning. Oh god. And quickly looked away, what? scrubbing his eyes with the back of his head. Jeez, Jojo! I didn't think you'd take it all off. <laughs> Desperate for some kind of distraction, Caesar looked around for some way to hang the clothes so they could dry. He soon noticed one stone in the outer wall, which stuck out slightly further than the ones around it. He took his spare headband out of his pants pocket. He was soaked in oil anyways. Anyway, actually. Nice grammar, asshole. And busied himself tying it in a loop onto the stone and hanging the oil so close from it. Relatively calm, Caesar turned to the oil-coated mask in front of him. He hadn't realized Joseph has come quite so close. Joseph looked... Oh. Caesar quickly looked up into Joseph's eyes and donned his most nonchalant look. Am I supposed to be impressed? Joseph ignored him and plucked at Caesar's shirt, frowning. Your shirt is wet, though, or through with oil, too. And whose fault is that? Caesar shot back. If someone hadn't thrown his dirty laundry at me, that might not be a problem. Jojo's eyes gleamed wolfishly. Well, I guess I just wasn't thinking. Still, it'd probably be better to take it off and hang it. We've got three days in here, after all. It's not like there won't be time for them to dry. It's like Majora's mask. <laughs> Dawn of a new day. <laughs> Resign with a resigned eye roll, Caesar unbuttoned his shirt and shrugged out of it, hanging it neatly with the other clothes. Unlike Joseph, he opted to keep his pants on. Sighing, Joseph leaned against to put his hands in his pockets before he realized he didn't have any. Damn, Lisa Lisa, she's probably sitting up there laughing at us. Look at those two morons. They can't even accomplish the simple task. Grr. Maybe she's not even walking. <laughs> and 
instead of actually growling, you just say grr. Reading a book or maybe taking a bath. Over a course of his music, Jojo's expression had changed from a mutinous square to a dreamy look. Maybe with that pretty maid. Caesar smacked the back of his head, <laughs> of his meaty head. God, Jojo, do you not have any respect for her? She's not some two bit doxy. She's our master. And I'm certain she and Susie are, you know, thought Caesar. Oh. Uh, <laughs> as Caesar thought about it, the idea. <laughs> oh shit! Certainly, Lisa Lisa's obvious behavior is a little more sense. Shaking his head, he put the thought out of his mind. And anyway, since she's your master, you shouldn't be thinking about her in that way. But, well, I think I think Connor's dead. <laughs> oh, well, Keon's existential oh, crisis is done saving. Where are we at? Because I uh, kind of my internet die. Joseph frowning, oh. poked the finger. Joseph frowning, poked the finger into Caesar's chest. Well, okay then, hotshot. Who am I supposed to fantasize about? I'm a young man in a prime of life. I can't just not think about sex. For that matter, I'm not sure I can even do without sex for a whole month. Maybe Susie will. No, no, no. Caesar interrupted. First off, you kiss your grandmother with that mouth. Second off, Susie, a, a nice young girl, innocent. He really refused to about what she might be doing with Lisa Lisa at the moment. And more importantly, even I haven't been able to score her. So I doubt you, giving a scorn for a lingering look down at JoJo's old covered body, I, haven't I just... have the slightest of chance in hell with her. <laughs> for, jokes in on that him, brief though. moment, I thought of Beefus and Butthead do America, where Beefus is just like, We're never gonna score! We're never gonna score! <laughs> 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 That's not over there! She must have hey, scored a million times! <laughs> hey, Joseph! Hey, <laughs> Joseph! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I wanna kick your ass! Sh <laughs> Don't make me, uh, I'm gonna, like, use my sunset yellow kick on you. <laughs> okay, where were we at? Oh, oh. oh, ho, so you're afraid I'll succeed where you found. Show your Lothario gig for a pathetic act it really is. Psh, you wish. I just want to spare you the pain of disappointment. Why don't you try someone you actually have a chance with? Joseph quirked an eyebrow. Well, given that the only people on this island are Lisa Lisa, Susie, and you, is that to come on? For the first time, Joseph and Fat Caesar <laughs> seemed at a loss for words. He was sputtering a lot. Joe debated whether or not to let him continue to act like a landed fish, but in the end, he decided to take mercy on him. He'd notice Caesar's stud... <laughs> Suddenly, I don't know. Suddenly, casual gazes and Caesar's oiled, soaked pants, though thick, were clean enough. He could tell the other man was not uninterested. Joseph moved in closer. Okay, but they have the worst ADHD. <laughs> They're trying to fucking climb a pillar. It's like, okay, but your master is <laughs> Christ. They're trying to climb a pillar, and then Joseph's like, man, Lisa, Lisa. Hey, yeah, uh, about your sex life, um. <laughs> oh, hi, hey. Caesar. <laughs> How's your sex life? Oh, you hi. know what stone pillar and your sex life have in common? Nothing. <laughs> okay, where am I at? Shit. Joseph moved. Joseph moved in closer as Caesar sputter, spluttered that it certainly was not a come on. That Jojo would just have to do without for a month, which certainly was not unreasonable given that he was supposed to be training to save his life. And Caesar found his mouth stopped by Joseph's hand. Jojo's other arm wrapped around Caesar, bringing their, classy, their bodies closer together. Caesar realized with a matter of spite that it had been a while for him too. That, like Jojo, 
he was unaccus uh, unaccustomed to going out without intimacy for this long. He'd meant to pick up a girl or two when they were on mainland. Someone. Oh, shit. Oh, meeting with Lisa Lisa. But Jojo, constantly bitching about his mask, had thrown a wrench into those plans. And he also had to admit it felt good to have this kind of contact with someone, even if it was a more annoying than not Jojo. Caesar leaned in and deepened the embrace, reflecting that they could both probably do use a little stress relief. Almost out of relax, he attempted a kiss, only to be bonked by that stupid mask. He found himself cursing it as before Lisa Lisa had put the mask on Joseph. His lips had looked quite lush. Perhaps not the right word. Too feminine. But Kispel certainly was. Oh, oh shit. After a long moment, Joe, you smell like oil, he said with a smirky impression, wa expression while they were in a pit full of oil. <laughs> Still, that was nice. Reaching out and caressing Caesar's bicep, surprisingly gentle, he added, Are you still going to play the outraged miss, or are you going to do what we both know what you want to do? With a sigh, and all of his eyes, Caesar stepped away and turned. Not that he is particularly modest, but he was an exhibitionist, as Jojo seemed to be, and unbuttoned his pants. He slipped out of them and realized his, uh, his pregnancy was... Leavened with a fear, fair amount of eagerness, huh? Who thought I'd ever be doing this with Jojo, let alone actually looking forward to it? He thought as he turned and hung his pants and underwear with the rest of their clothes. Then he laughed. Well, I suppose that... both of our pants will have a chance to dry. This is getting uh... cringier and cringier. It's like yeah. getting, it's getting more out of character, which is a big major problem. Yeah. It is actually. Joseph gave an answering chuckle, then moved in for another embrace. What a nice word to use in the world's gayest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> this know, one was even more enjoyable. Gay. But... Pretty gay. It's about oily dudes in a pit full of oil, mud wrestling with each other's cocks. Yeah, and they're both. Really buff dude. <laughs> one's British this one was one's even Italian. more enjoyable than the last. And Caesar found his arms twining around jo Joe's muscular torso. Joseph, meanwhile, had his hands considerably lower, something Caesar was not at all opposed to. When the two men pulled apart, Joseph looked at Caesar suspiciously. No freaky shit with hormone bubbles, though, okay? Jojo ordered. No bubbles or oil or anything else. Come on. They could be fun, Caesar said. Caesar ah, said. no. It'd be like a hot spring. Like a hot With a wicked grin. <laughs> what the fuck? With a wicked grin. He dipped his finger in the oil and suddenly it warmed and started bubbling. Joseph had to admit it felt good, but nevertheless he grabbed Caesar's arm and looked out of the pool, narrowing his eyes. He intoned... <laughs> No, no bubbles of anything. With a theatrical huff, Caesar folded... His... Oh, wait, fuck, you're supposed to read this. Fine. With a theatrical huff, Caesar folded his arms. Fine. Then no Jojo crackers either, you freak. Crackavone. <laughs> what? I wasn't even... How would you even use those in sex? Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one last all or nothing gambit. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> I mean, Christ. I'm still sure I could find a way. I'm brilliant, after all. But still. He trailed off oh, when yeah, he felt Caesar's callus. He trailed off oh, when he shit. felt Caesar's calluses on his hands, on his hips. With a brief effort and teasing a muscle, Joseph found himself leaning back against the pillar, oil flowing down the back of his head. Shoulders, shoulder blades, and further. Shiza gracefully dropped to his knees, his chin barely clearing the oil, and his face level with Joseph's crotch. Joseph leaned his head against the pillar, and when he felt the warm wetness of Caesar's mouth envelop him, 
He closed his eyes and allowed an involuntary groan. The older man had clearly done this before and was very good at it. Very, in bold letters. Yeah. Joseph Pellet just as that was out as long as he could, but he soon then he'd have like he found himself tensing as he rode a wave of pleasure and his knee is almost walking. Oh my god! Ah! That was so forced. <laughs> I, I could do the young Joseph. Oh my oh, god! Dude, I could do young Joseph. Oh my god! I was trying to do old Joseph though. Because so whenever I see. Whenever I see "Oh my God" in bold letters, it's always an invitation to go. Oh my God! Oh, you mean like in the heritage of the future or in the anime? I mean, this whole thing's non-canon as fuck, and anything's going on. So, so what if he developed progeria you know, while this he's in that This conversation about have, saying "Oh my God," it's uh, it's way more sparing than this fucking story. Oh, <laughs> Alright, that's your life. As Joseph came back to himself, panting heavily, Caesar rose to his feet, wiping his mouth with the back of his hand. I believe it's your turn to return the favor, Jojo, he said with an evil smirk on his face. Okay, but wait, I've got this mask on, Joseph protested. I guess I can give you a rain check for after I get this stupid mask off, but... No, no rain checks. I have another idea of how you could reprick your... (laughs) Uh, Reciprocate. Reciprocate. <laughs> Reciprocate. That Caesar said, still grinning, slightly sinister grin. Joseph realized almost merely what Caesar was implying. He may have been many things, but slow, well, I mean, considering this whole thing, was not one of them. Objection. Now, wait a minute. What? What's your objection? What? What's your objection? What? What is your Overruled. objection? No, I, I, I was self-narrating, I suppose, oh. because it says, now wait just a minute. And I, eh, I oh, thought to myself, eh, it's way more better if he just said objection. Objection! No, wait. Dun, dun, objection! Dun, 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 objection, dun, 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 he said, dun, dun, waving his hands in down. Dun, I didn't dun, think you were going to go dun, that far. Dun, 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 What's dun, the matter, Jojo? Caesar said, leaning in with a toothy, blue-bean smile. You're not afraid to take it like a man, are you? No! Joseph protested. No, it's just, I've never, uh, doesn't it hurt? Only when not, oh fuck, only when not, uh, only when not sufficiently <laughs> lubricated, Caesar explained, was the gesture to the giant pool of oil, he added. That clearly won't be a problem for us. He's gonna get ass cancer. <laughs> oh, poor Cicero doesn't know if it would hurt or not. Poor Cicero needs to oil himself before he <laughs> the night. I think of the night, mother, while we do this. <laughs> Good once, again. Once, once again, the night mother, a.k.a. Caesar, <laughs> placed his hands on Joseph's hips, but this time he hitched the younger man up against the pillar, his legs up around Caesar's waist, his stomach still full of misgivings. Joseph tried not to squirm too much as Caesar, holding Joseph up with one hand, dipped his hand, to, other hand to the oil and applied it to Joseph's rear entrance of finger. The finger didn't feel awful, though. In fact, kind of the opposite. So so, Joseph started to relax a bit. That is, until he saw Caesar slicking himself with the same hand. Uh Uh-oh. Caesar entered slowly and gently, in what was clearly a great effort of will for him, judging by the almost pained expression on his face. Still, Joseph appreciated the care he seemed to be taking. The pain was minimal, almost non-existent. Mostly there was just a feeling of fullness, of being touched in places deep inside, which weren't being used to being touched. You're also not supposed to be used to being in a giant pit of oil. God damn. (laughs) Uh, Not having a ticking time bomb on your fucking heart. 
<laughs> you know, that's She's actually a series. Yeah. There's a series about a girl where if she falls in love, she explodes. So she has a heart plant inside of her. I think I've seen like some sort of weird hentai where this guy, he cannot have an erection or else he loses his house or something. What? <laughs> or else he loses his house? Is that what you said? I believe so. <laughs> So he's got to be a, so he's got to be a three pump chump in order for him to keep his apartment. No, he has to not have an erection. He must not get a boner. So he has to be. You know, so it's he probably more entertaining than this shitty fan fiction, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna go figure out what that is and watch it later. I'm gonna read that. Is it? Re All right. So where it, am no, I? No, it, it's a it's a show. Okay, then I'll watch it later. So where am I at? I kind of died inside. Caesar began. Caesar began to pull out slowly, which felt slightly uncomfortable at first, but soon faded as the Italian man slid into a slow, steady rhythm. Joseph found himself tightening his legs around the old man's waist, trying to pull him in deep for something in which Caesar seemed only too happy to oblige him. As Caesar thrust into him, Joseph panted. You planned this reciprocity. From the moment I talked to you, into this, didn't you? Not getting an answer, the younger man continued. I thought so. Still, I think you'll find that you're not the only one who has a few surprises. In his private experiment with Haman, Joseph had discovered it can be manifested through any part of his body. It was stronger when focused from one point, such as a finger, but was certainly not limited to that. His smile was <laughs> was particularly pleased with himself. Fox, Joseph sent a brief pulse of Haman into Caesar to the point which their bodies connected most intimately. <laughs> okay, but wrong. this is just sex with tasers. <laughs> <laughs> Zap. Car, car battery. <laughs> fucking interference. Your ass just your ass just tased my dick. <laughs> oh my God. That sounds like a Anti fucking robot sex thing. Jojo. Yeah, that's what happened. Ah, that, don't uh, make me. You'll make me. Oh no! <laughs> Bloody hell! Oh no! Jojo grinned oh, wolfishly no, this behind is me. the man. You, you read the uh, last one. Oh. Jojo grinned, grinned wolfishly behind the mask as he covered in a, his face covered in a light sheen of oil and sweat. Turn was about fair play after all. He sent another pulse into Caesar, and he could feel the older man nearing the point of no return. Jojo, stop! Time for the all or nothing gambit. Jojo wrapped his arms around Caesar's neck as tightly as he could. And now, you're going to say, <sighs> I'm coming. With that, he quenched himself as tight as he could while simultaneously sending a last wave of hot moan to Caesar. The older man was no match for his stimulation and smiled. Damn it, Jojo! Ah, I'm coming! This is the last of my semen! Take it from me! <laughs> However, when Caesar's knee was buckled in pleasure, he took Joseph, whose legs were still wrapped around him around the waist, down with him, and the two fell into a tangle of limbs and yelps into a lake of oil they were standing in. Joseph was the first to rise to his knees, dripping again with oil. Oh God, Caesar, warn a guy when you're going to drop him like that, as if I didn't get enough oil on me before. Jojo stood and attempted to brush himself dry, well, drier, while Caesar surfaced, looking abashed. His headband, the only article of clothing he still wore, was coated in oil and drooping sadly, like his cock. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't blame it on me. You're the one who decided to go all extra credit on us. I can't help my body's reaction. Maybe next time you'll... Think before you pull a stunt like that. 
Joseph weed now towards him, and jo- Caesar braced for an attempt to blow and said, though no, Joseph just raised finger and said, his brows set in a cocky expression, It was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. With a grimace, he took Joseph's extended hand and heaved himself to the feet. Looks like it'll be a while before we can put our clothes back on. Well, we want to put our clothes back on, though. <laughs> oh. Joseph nodded and then draped his arm around Caesar's shoulder. He looked up at the pillar and Caesar followed his gaze. So, that was nice. Caesar, don't get me wrong, but what do we do now? At the top of the pillar, Lisa Lisa frowned down at her falling jeans. <laughs> well, I suppose the increased camaraderie couldn't hurt, but it is not exactly the type of training I had in mind. With a sigh, she started back to the house. She had to go tell Susie to get the rooms ready for the boys. Whatever they happen to get out of the pit. Also, apparently, some dry pants. Should, should, yeah. should we read the author note? Or read no? the author's note. Do you want me to? Uh, you, should I read it in the voice I think the author has? Um, yeah. I'm not sure. This Akari, is- would you like to join in? <laughs> oh, yeah, do you want to read the author's notes? Yeah, she can be the author. <laughs> author. Okay. <laughs> Akari, are you there? Here, I got this. I got this. <laughs> Would you this can like, you narrate a little part of the story? Want to. The author's notes. Here. Hold on. I got this, man. Oh, no, this no, no, was no. Six... Let, let's see if Akari wants to do it. <laughs> might, might as well give them the chance. I mean, I don't think they've said it. Yeah, might as well. Yeah. I want but I can't. Okay, do you want to, Otomer? I mean, you've done no voices I mean... in this. I could be background characters. I mean, it's just the author's notes. Yeah. Like, Ew. Yeah, you, like, just do the weirdest, <laughs> like, fangirl voice you could do. I'm not a voice actor. You do realize that, correct? Yeah, you do it, Connor. Do it in your, like, fucking uh, Neptunia voice that you always Oh, do. my, how lewd. Okay. This is my first time writing gay sex. Oh, shit. You know what? No, I'm doing this in a Cicero voice because oil immediately makes me think of Cicero for some reason. This was poor Cicero's first time writing gay sex. Or sex in general, which is much more embarrassing than I thought it would be. Writing the uh, climactic scene basically involved me asking for help on IRC and giggling self-consciously as I wrote. Poor Cicero. Just know that for every questionable practice in this fic, there were ten suggested that I had manfully restrained myself from including. Two words. Spooge bubbles. I think I deserve brownie points for my restraint. <laughs> brownie points. So, um... Poor Cicero wants hey, brownie Akari. points to make his the night mother happy. So, uh, Connor, what 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 would you uh, what would you rate this? Not what I was expecting when you said JoJo fan fiction. Okay, like, what out of what would you give it? Eh, I mean, it was okay. It wasn't good, and it wasn't like horrible. It wasn't like. Lisa Lisa sewed half a Caesar to half a Joseph and made him into, like, a Dio. <laughs> oh, they cut off, she cut off Caesar and Joseph's heads and made them switch bodies. Yeah. Oh, no, I bet that exists somewhere out there. And I'm not saying I liked it or hated it. I kind of just read it because, you know. I mean, it was fun. I well, give it three. It was fun. This is the last of my semen. Take it from me. <laughs> Out of ten. Ah, but poor Cicero can't hold back any longer, Caesar. <laughs> poor Cicero will get dirty. Odomer, what 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 do you uh what do you fucking rate it? Hmm. Uh two meatballs out of infinity. <laughs> two meatballs out of infinity. 
Okay, what 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 do you rate it, Akira? Like Akari. Again. Akari, yeah, Akari, fuck. I actually there there's someone I know whose name is Akira. So fuck. They're chopping this out. Alright, this is the last one I'm doing tonight. Oh yeah, no, that was the last one. Alright, doing it in DMs or chat? Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that incognito window quick. That was, uh... That was uh, weird. They call it bad? I'd call it bad, yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, Akari's typing it out. Okay, so let's get Akari's opinion before we end this. Don't you forget, forget about it. me. Don't, don't, don't you. Don't you. The Avengers Bizarre Adventures. Bum, 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 bum. Bruce Banner and his stand, the Hulk. Are you still recording? Yeah, I'm still recording. I'm waiting for Akira's uh, review of this. You're probably going to have to yeah. cut out a few audio uh, areas here and there. Oh, no, no, no. We're doing this all. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm uploading this. All, all of it? Why? Why? Because I like it raw. Yeah, Caesar. Joseph took it raw. So can the rest of YouTube. <laughs> I watch these videos get like a hundred thousand views, and the rest of my channel just stays dead. You mean your two viewers who are gonna see this? I mean, I'm gonna upload this under YouTube, and I'm gonna share this on like random sites. Yeah. And on YouTube. Yeah. Hey, just one like. It doesn't seem that Akari has any thought about this. Okay, so so I'm gonna guess Akari just thought this was cringy as fuck. So yeah, no, um, yeah, uh, out of all, get the fuck out. <laughs>